So here's a quick run through of a sculpted croc monster I did recently. If you'd like to see a more follow along type tutorial then do let me know in the comments below. Now for this one I just started with the basic sculpted sphere and then just sort of blobbed it out. It's a different technique to what I usually use, I usually actually map out the shape with primitive objects so I thought I'd actually have a go at the Dine Topo this time. I do hear that they're getting rid of the Dine Topo in Blender but we'll see and it's still a really useful tool which I really enjoy because it's very sort of freeform type sculpting. However it really doesn't work well for things like the teeth and the horns, I think they're much better as separate objects, it's much easier to sculpt that way. Then you don't have to keep masking out different areas to try and isolate one object. Also when you sort of blob it all out like this, it's difficult to get the legs truly level with each other. It's difficult to do that anyway, but it's even tougher when you do it like this. If they were separate objects to start with, it would have been a lot easier to align them. So let me know what you think and check out more of my content on my website.